hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Shell to Row. Hi, Assassins. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing swell out there. I really, really do. I really, really do. Okay, you guys. Capricorns. We're going to find out what's going on in your... Give you some peace for your peace reading here. Ooh, you're juggling some things. Now, if you are new, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I do want to let everybody know that um, the way I read is a little bit different. Um, basically, you look up your birth chart, links in the description box below for astrocharts.com. Look that up. Um, and then apply this to whatever placement for the sign I'm reading it um, that you have. So, like, for me personally, I have um, Capricorn placements. Like, I have a Capricorn... Well, I have a Capricorn Neptune. So, like... You know, this might apply for certain things in like in that area. So take it how it resonates. You know, um, yeah. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. We are assassins over here. It's fun. <laughs> truly, truly, it's fun. What are you juggling, Capricorn? What are you juggling? We have this two of Pentacles. Looks like you're trying to do a lot. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ooh. Page of Swords. So, is this you juggling a lot, or are you just trying to watch somebody else do something so hard you ain't getting your own stuff done? Mm hmm. Let me know. What's the real tea? Mm hmm. Do you need to get some chaotic cleanse? Hmm. Well, we got judgment out here. Injustice. Uh oh. Judgment and justice. Hand in hand. What's going on here? You may be watching somebody else trying to figure out how they're doing something or how they're balancing something out. Yeah, I feel like you're watching somebody. I feel like either you're watching somebody get justice for something or you're watching justice happen in some sort of way. I feel like, because the way this page of swords is looking you see this person's like looking back over here in this area like looking towards the justice looking towards the courts looking towards what's going on here it's like you're looking to see if you're gonna it's just gonna be fair judgment what what like what's gonna happen here sorry y'all there's like it was like an ant on my leg and it was it was getting to me okay but it's like either you're, you i feel like you're this is such an energy of like looking to see how it's like how someone else is going to be, like, look doing it before you do it, type thing. It's like, okay, so, hmm, how would, you know, like, how would this person be, how is this person being perceived for doing this thing? And am I going to be the same? Like, you know, it's kind of like that. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like, okay, you go first, and I'll see how, see how you do. And if, if it goes well, then I'll do it. But if not, then I won't, type thing. That's kind of the energy I'm feeling. So what is this, Capricorn? What is this? We need to get you some peace here, because you don't need to be trying to figure out if how people are going to be looking at this other person. Mm, Queen of Wands. Yeah, confidence. Maybe comp this is with this Queen of Wands, this is more like confidence in what you create. Um, you could be creating something, and you're not confident in it, or you do something, and you're not confident in what it is that you do. Whatever kind of magic that you spread. But you see she's growing this. Um, I'm not even sure what you call it. What kind of flower it is. I don't think it's a lily. But I know that they have a certain like flower out there. But you see how like she's growing it. Like it's growing up real, real, real tall. But she's putting a lot into it. I feel like you're like being afraid to put something into something. Because you, you want to see. It's like you want to see the result before you take the action. Does that make sense? Like okay so. I want to see what this is going to look like before I do it. It's that. But that makes you not ever end up doing it. Or you're too busy looking to see, wondering how it's going to be instead of doing it and finding out for yourself. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, yo. I hope it does. We got five of pinnacles. There we go. Relax. And we got the three of wands, yeah. It's time to leave that behind. This five of pentacles, it's like... 
So when I get it like this, and when I say leave it behind, I don't, I, I, like, it can come off as like, oh, just forget about it type thing, right? And it's not like a just forget about it. It's more of a, okay, find something else to do if you're not successful in this one particular area. So whatever area this is or whatever this is going on, right? So we got the, like the two of pentacles. You may be juggling between doing this and that. Like say you're juggling between, I don't know. What, like what would you be like say you're juggling between like getting like strawberry ice cream or vanilla ice cream at the store right and it's like you could just go get both you could just go get neither but i feel like it's like it's like you're struggling over which one to get makes you not actually get anything because you're like i don't know when i go to the store what i'm going to go get so it's like okay pivot maybe you don't get either one of those flavors you get a whole other certain flavor out of the way or something like that and look, there's a whole b right here hi b uh, <laughs> but like, get something else, you know? And then there's a cat. Ugh. Clipsy, you can't climb through the window. Honey, you can't climb through the glass. I don't... I mean, you are a super cat, but I don't think you're able to do that. That seems painful. Okay. Right. What else we got? Oh, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. There we go. This is that, you know how they say if at first you don't succeed, try and try again? It's that, but don't keep trying the same thing you've been trying, because that clearly ain't working. You gotta try something different. And then when you try something different, then and you start you know, going towards this Ten of Cups, this abundance, then... Ooh, my nail cracked. Sorry, I just noticed that. Um, then... It's like you can revisit it. You know what I mean? Like revisit it when you are in a better mind or in a better spot. or So that way you won't feel... Because here's the thing. is if you, you're you trying to do it in this five. And it's like leave the five. Go do something else. Until you get to the until you get to the ten. Then when you come back, you're already at the ten. So you can't be like, oh, I'm at the five. I can't do anything. Blah, blah, blah. Are you able to do it with like fresher eyes? That's the best way I can put it. It's like fresher eyes. Yeah, and we got, what, the Page of Cups here. Cups is also, um, spiritual, yes, cups are emotions, cups are spirituality, though, and cups are, like, soulfulness, emotion, like, you can, like, maybe try and put your heart back into it a little bit later. Put a little love in it a little bit later, like, you know, after you done something else and then you maybe you can look at it differently or appreciate it differently or think about it differently yeah we got the seven of swords so that way you won't deceive yourself on it for real because you don't want to i feel like you don't want to like deceive yourself on it like i don't i feel like you don't want to whatever this is whatever you're awake feel like you're going to be judged on I feel like you don't want to mm. three of pentacles maybe you don't want to like work on it on what is it it's something the moon unknown so it may be different for different people you know, and maybe one of those things, maybe you are, don't want to work with the moon or don't want to work in your emotions. Maybe Okay, so I rub my nose, that's the thing. So, you don't want to work on your emotions. I don't even know what they got going on over there, I'm sorry. I hope you all can still hear me. Can you still hear me? Hello? I don't know why I'm asking you if you can respond, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Can you still hear me? Okay, great. So, like, I feel like you're, you're, yeah. I don't want to say you're lying to yourself about your emotions. I just don't feel like you're let you're allowing yourself like to feel them all the way. Like emotionally, this page, right? Like that's not very. I don't want to say it's not emotional because you may not be an emotional person, but you may not be able to like deal with it as well. And so you're watching other people deal with emotions. That could be the thing that you're looking at. It's like, oh, I'm not an emotional person. So let me watch how other people like be emotional and stuff and with their and what people how people react to them before I actually 
like show my own. Yeah, with this temperance that came out in reverse. So it's like, before I start like doing something and changing my pain around and, and alchemizing and doing all these things, let me see what it looks like when someone else does it. And it's like, but that's not helping you. Waiting to, some, like, waiting to see how someone else does it or how someone else perceived to do it doesn't help you. I'm just going to put that out there. But that's the energy I'm feeling. So, it's like, I don't feel like it's bad. It's more like, you know what I mean? It, it's that, like, I'm going to wait till everybody else crying in the movie theater before I feel like it's okay for me to cry. This, this is what this energy is. This is what it's feeling like. It's like, okay, so, oh, I'm going to go see this movie and, you know, I'm going to wait till everybody else sees and, like, says it's, like, a sad part or whatever. And I'm going to cry during that part because it's, like, socially acceptable then at that point when I'm seeing all these other people doing it. But when I'm doing it by myself, I don't feel like it's socially acceptable or... I don't even know what you want to call it. Like, I don't know what the word is for what I'm talking about. It could be FOMO. I don't feel like it's a fear, though. I don't feel like I don't feel like you're missing out on anything either. I feel like you're just like I don't see how these other people, um, you know, how they get treated. Yeah, we have the page of wands here. See what news is there. See what comes up for them. See what actions they take. You know, are they going to be labeled immature? Are they going to be labeled like uh, flighty, frisky, whatever? Like, are they going to be like one night stands? Like, it. it, it it's the energy of, I'm going to see what you offering. It's kind of like that. Before I go anywhere, I got to see what you offering. It's that kind of thing, too. It's like, okay, so I got to see what, 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 you, what you coming over here with before I try to go anywhere. I'm getting that, too. And so it's like, maybe it's like an emotional investment. You don't want to do that too early or too soon or... But I, I'm not getting that this is like, this could be people, yeah, two of cups, it could be people. And we have the page of pentacles, queen of cups, and king of wands. So this could be people, it could be an offer between the king of cups, or excuse me, a queen of cups and a king of wands. It could be people, but I'm like, any, like someone's like waiting to see. You know, what's going to happen, what the offer is going to be, you know, how these people are going to behave or whatever. That could be a thing too, but I was going to say was I was getting into real like, we have a like public perception thing, like watching somebody else do something and then seeing if it's like publicly acceptable before you do it. I feel, I'm getting a lot of that in here though. And this could come out in a relationship. Like, this could come out in that I want to see how these other people, you know, um... Like, I want to see how these other people think about the way me and this person look together before I offer them anything. Before, it, it, it could be like that. I want to see the way that people respond to, to this, to these other people, before I, you know, do anything. And it's like, because I want, like, this entire reading, I want to be like, who cares about what other people think? So, Capricorn, I feel like that's, uh, no offense, whatever energy is, whoever is in whatever placement, whoever got this. But it's like, who cares? Like, really, like, I feel like someone is worried so badly about that or, like, how they're going to be judged by other people. Because I really feel like this night, this uh, Page of Swords, again, it's not, this is, this is them looking at everybody else. Watching everybody else get up on the scale. Watching everybody else go through this judgment. Watching everybody else go through all of this before, you know, like, stepping out on them by themselves and doing whatever and like actually going through this process of letting just people judge them or letting like just being free and letting it happen and not caring it's like you're watching it in being like oh I don't know if I can kind of going back and forth between it I don't know if I can date this person let me see if everybody else is going to like how we look together or like how we act together or this is that or I don't know if I can eat the strawberry ice cream let me go uh, like get Rocky Road or something because I know a lot of people like Rocky Road or it's, it's like it's like that thing like it's not like a whew, get some chaotic plans like it's not like a not afraid to try new things but it's a like how are you going to be viewed for trying it that's really what I'm getting here 
So the piece is really just to not worry about it. Maybe you just need to like detach from tech, like all together for a while. Like turn off your phone, everything like that. Like get away from people for a minute. Like like or maybe you just be around. Like be saturated with people. One of the two. And maybe like you get saturated with people to the point that you are just like. Oh, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but it's. I feel like it's like one of those two. I don't know which one will work better for you. Because I feel like for you, you would have to probably be around more people. Like, you probably need to go around people or do something. Like, you know, COVID friendly, whatever. But like, go do something around a whole bunch of people so you can really see that how much people really just don't give a shit. Like, I'm not trying to be funny or mean or anything like that, but people really don't care. That like, people are not watching you as hard as you're watching them. And I guarantee you that. And I can tell you that because you're watching them. Like, once you stop watching them, they might start, they'll probably start watching you this hard. But because you're watching them this hard, they're not paying attention to you. That's just kind of how, like, wallflower, uh, wallflower life is. I'm just going to put it out there. So, yeah. <sighs> Please like the video if you liked the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. I want to say thank you again to all those people who have been watching. I love your beautiful, beautiful comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for commenting, for subscribing, for liking, for coming, for being here, for joining the Assassin Nation. I love you guys. Thank you all again. Truly, 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 truly. We're going to be assassins, y'all. Killing the shit.